Hello, my name is Derek, and uh, I was over in a group over here, and uh, we talked about... Okay, so we talked about two different things, but the overall like photosynthesis of what we're like projecting is nonviolence, and then how to get people to do simple, easy things, to get them participating in this. And one of the things we thought about was like, if we, if like, half the people in this room were to just make signs about nonviolence and peace and like journalists like tell the truth and have it lined all the way around so like when they start arresting us they're like on the news and there's like all these nonviolent posters everywhere so it's like a complete paradox about what like they're trying to hold protect and serve kind of things about so just if everyone in here just made a sign that said like peace or you know loyalists tell or uh, not loyalists <laughs> journalists tell the truth um, and just put it on the outside, then that would be legit. But uh, yeah, good luck. Well, if you don't want to, you don't have to. So um, on the outreach part, which is the, uh, the other part, is on the march, uh, kind of get like, if you're around somebody in your march, and just be like, hey, dude, uh, it's going to be like three or four in the morning when the cops come and raid us, so can you like kind of stay like later than you thought possible? And like, there's going to be food and a dance party. <laughs> so like... If you want to get down, dude, get down late, okay? <laughs> and uh, another thing is, uh, I heard there's going to be flyers over there, so if you guys go out to a coffee shop tomorrow, or go to Pals, or some sort of bookstore, grab a flyer too, and just like post up on their cork board, and be like, this is what's up, come and join us, what's up? I know all these people out here want to be free, we just need to like, wake up, you know? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much, my name's Derek. Okay, so the first one is making signs about nonviolence and peace for this. Do folks, how do folks feel about that? And journalists. And journalists. Uh, the next one was flyering around town. How do people feel about doing that? Okay, great. Uh, am I missing one or are those the two? And the dance party I'm hearing is part of that as well that I'm missing. How do people feel about a dance party? Okay, great. Next, next uh, report back, please. Hey, folks. I'm gonna do the best I can to uh, represent all the divergent groups that, I mean, all the divergent ideas in our group. Uh, first of all, um, we are totally against the use of violence. We are totally for nonviolent tactics. Um, so uh, that's what we're asking everybody to do. Um, also, we support the idea that's been articulated several times here of taking down everything in the camp and cleaning cleaning it so that it is like either ready to leave so we can move somewhere else or we can reoccupy the next day or whatever it is that we need to do but basically we take everything down we clean up as much as possible so that we get away from this negative uh, narrative of all the damage we've done to the park so no matter if they make us leave or we stay or we come back no matter what, they'll look at it and say, oh, gosh, they said there was all this damage here, but there's no damage. You know, we, we basically, you know, cleaned the park up. So, you know, I think that it falls in line with the, the idea that's already been proposed here as far as, like, doing a, a master cleanse. Um, so nonviolence, the master cleanse. Um, also, um, we understand that some folks are willing to get arrested. Some folks are not willing to get arrested. Um, we believe, you know, it's okay to stay here and get arrested if you think you want to get arrested. We think it's also good that if you say, hey, I don't want to get in the legal system, I want to get out of that, I don't want to give them any money. It's also good to say, hey, I'm here for the dance party at that time, you know what, I'm going to step out. We understand that some people want to stay in this camp, some people want to move. Um, some folks don't think we even need a camp, that the move doesn't have to be about camping, it could be about making a statement. Um, but we support you know, the, the needs of the people, we want to make sure that the people's needs are taken care of. Um, basically, um, I think if anything, if banners are to be done, signs are to be done, I, you know, in a way to protest, I think if anything, let your sign speak, let your banner speak. If your mouth is not using, usually a cop would not arrest, usually what gets us in trouble more times than not with police is our mouth, at least that's what they say. Um, Nonviolence is uh, the way to go, um, but I think if anything, everybody needs to pull together. You guys all know what's going on, and 
do, we don't even know if there's a way to get out of it, but if not, just pull together and don't let this upset you and find a way to get it to all work. And, um, and just like respect for the police, you know? Let them do their thing. Yeah, they more times than not are not gonna lie to us. But you know, no matter what, they're gonna be there. But we're here too. We all need to survive. We all need to find a place to sleep. They don't want us to sleep in all these other places. When they find us, they kick us out. They tell you, no, you can't be here. Well, where would you like us to be? Well, everybody has found a place to be. Now here comes the problem. Why can't everybody stay here? Well, you know, yes, you know, they sit here and go, we're ruining the park. Yes, we're doing this, we're doing that. And I mean, I even had a friend who's sitting here talking about the trash. Well, you know, if anything, like the previous lady said, clean, you, you know, the area, keep it together, find a way to take care of things and keep it within the community. So that way that outside will not have anything to say about it because everybody's taking care of themselves. Okay, so the values that we heard was, was unity and not getting upset. How do people feel about that? Okay, great. The next one was being respectful towards the police. How do people feel about that? Okay. And then taking care of ourselves in all of this as a, as a value for this. How do people feel about that? And then the action item, I believe, was to be making signs to communicate this. How do people feel about that? Okay. Next person, please. So, we had three ideas. Camp unification. Um, um, like, sustainable infrastructure, so contingency plans for if we do get raided, that the committees have places that they put their stuff. And then the third one is um, influencing... Um, the development of affinity groups, so when the police do come, we know where we stand with our different groups and people that are supportive. So the two things there were again cleaning up and camp beautification. How do people feel about that? Still feeling good about that. Okay. Um, and then the next one was forming affinity groups to help us prepare and act on Saturday night. How do people feel about that? Okay, great. Next person, please. there. Uh, so our group talked about a lot of things that have already been covered, so I'm not going to recover those, but the one that I haven't seen so far that we talked about extensively um, was to be prepared, and that means taking personal responsibility to have um, things that you might need on that night, like first aid supplies, like goggles, like a handkerchief, um, like vin uh, apple cider vinegar, um, things that will protect you, um, a helmet. Um, things that will protect you against chemical agents and um, just to stay safe and to help your friends and, and partners and everybody else here stay safe as well. So just taking personal responsibility and um, having some first aid supplies and things on hand. All right, how do people feel about that preparation? Getting ourselves prepared to take care of ourselves, being safe. Great. And then there was one we missed on the last one, which was committees coordinating to protect supplies and equipment. How do people feel about making sure we do that? Already doing it! Okay, great. Next person, please. You beat no one. text line. This is just for emergencies. If the camp is presently being raided, it says, get down here, we need you. Um, that number is 23559. That's 23559. You would text to that number. The message that you would text to that number is capital P, capital D, capital X, capital O, lowercase, 
C C U five P Y Q I. So P D X occupied. Two two three five five nine. Everybody get that? Uh, all right. So then, um, as far as contingency plans, we need to have um, what, another idea that was presented was that we have um, an indoor space to keep stuff. Um, it sounds like there's a lot of support for basically taking the camp down and, and just cleaning it. Um, and um, uh, so we're going to need some place to keep stuff that people don't want to get damaged um, because the police will tear down your tents and they will destroy your personal property. Um, so if uh, there was um, a warehouse space proposed in Tiger, whoever that was right here, he has some warehouse space in Tiger. If anybody else has a space where and stuff truck. can be... And a truck. And a truck and a forklift. Um, so if anybody else has space that... Yeah, exactly. So if anybody has... Um, I've had like five people texting me uh, telling me that they, they have space and they should contact me. Great. So, yes. Perfect. Kitchen, come to me. And yes. we also have one truck showing up tomorrow and three trucks on Saturday to move stuff. Perfect. Sounds Woo. like that is... Yeah. And a truckers union on our side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, um... Another one that um, I don't think has been mentioned is um, something that has also been discussed in the original Occupy and across the country, and I think it has been implemented in a couple places effectively, um, that um, the police will be using dispersing tactics. Their idea is to get everybody out. Um, I, I don't know anybody that has the training to be able to withstand tear gas, <laughs> so I think that there's going to be a lot of dispersing, um, whether or not we want to. Uh, so the idea is that we have um, kind of splinter groups and um, possibly everybody's handed like an address and there's maybe five or ten different places where we can go if we're being kicked out of the camp. We can go immediately to that place, meet up with other people from Occupy, um, and then have a plan from there to regroup possibly back at the camp, um, wherever. But it, it sends us to a place where we can be together, where the cops won't know where we are. Um, and there's not really action that they can that they, that they can take, um, just so that we have a plan, so that we're not running wild and nobody knows what to do after um, after we're dispersed. And uh, yeah, we also had the idea to basically clean up the camp because the mayor's main concern was um, drug use and crime, and we need to address that. And if we effectively address that, then he won't have any reason to evict us. His reason is drug use and crime. If we can clean out the camp and show everybody, look, you know, we're not stockpiling rocks and wood for shields like the Oregonian. <laughs> wants everybody to believe that we are. Uh, you know, if we can show them, look, this is our camp. It's beautiful. We've just cleaned it. There are no heroin addicts and uh, meth users in our camp anymore. Um, and therefore, you have no reason to um, evict us, so um, I guess the same idea, um, cleaning out the camp, and as, at, the time of, at the time of eviction, having um, just kind of either no camp or a kind of a, a, a skeleton camp, just kind of like a symbolic camp, um, a few tents that can then be built on later after, after the mess is settled. So those are our ideas.